Now, we have an update on a story of a retired American Marine who has been arrested on espionage charges in Russia. His family is speaking out, and they say he is innocent and was in the country for a friend's wedding. 48-year-old Paul Whelan from Michigan arrived in Moscow on December 22nd and was taken into custody last Friday. Russian officials announced the arrest yesterday. Now, for more on this story, we're joined by David Whelan. He is Paul's brother. He joins us from Newmarket, Ontario. David, thank you so much for making time for us. I cannot imagine what a difficult time there it is right now for your family. What have you been told about your brother's arrest? We haven't been told very much yet. Uh, we learned about the detention on Monday morning when we found it out in the newswires, and then we immediately contacted the American government. And so we've been in contact with them since that time, with the State Department and with the uh, consular services at the embassy in Moscow. Uh, but there's apparently a window of about 72 hours, which uh, um, has to pass before anybody can see Paul, and that time hasn't passed as of today. So we're hoping tomorrow that we will hear uh, about Paul's condition and his well-being. And does that mean he also has not seen a lawyer? Uh, he has not seen a lawyer yet. Uh, tomorrow, one of the things we're hoping that will happen is that he will get a list of lawyers from the embassy. They provide a recommended list, although they don't help with legal representation. Uh, and then he'll be able to select one and be able to uh, begin his legal representation in the criminal uh, charges that Russia is bringing against him. Now, David, at this point, uh, he's been accused of espionage. That's what the Russians are saying. We know your brother was a former Marine. We also know that he's worked as a security director. Is there any possibility that the Russians are making an accurate accusation? There's no chance that the Russians are making an accurate accusation. Paul has a law enforcement background. He is a Marine. He has worked in corporate security, and he is very aware of both uh, the rule of law and the risks of traveling in countries that uh, may have risks to travelers. Uh, there's no chance that he would have taken those sorts of risks uh, while on a trip to Moscow, let alone to break any law, but to break the, uh, to, to break the Espionage Act. Now, there have been some reports that perhaps your brother was taken into custody by the Russians as retaliation for a Russian woman, Maria Butina, who has pleaded guilty on a separate set of charges in the United States, that this is a tit-for-tat situation. Have you heard anything on that front from anyone from the U.S. State Department? No, we have not heard anything like that from the State Department. What is your belief? Why do you think your brother has been taken into custody? Uh, I think it's too complicated to come up with a simple answer to what that is. Um, I think that there are many reasons that Paul could have, uh, and it could be completely arbitrary. Um, our goal really is just to get him home. And are you optimistic on that front? Uh, I am optimistic, yes. Uh, I don't know that it will be soon, but I think, uh, I think eventually we will be able to get down to the, the details of what actually happened, and hopefully we'll start to get those tomorrow when the government has access to Paul. Now, I just want to clarify one point, because I've read that um, Paul was born in Canada. Is he a dual citizen, both Canadian and American? I don't know. I know that he was once a Canadian citizen, so he may still be, and I know that he is an American citizen right now. So. Uh, this might be obvious then, but has anyone from the Canadian government reached out to you if, in fact, he is also a Canadian citizen? Uh, no, I don't believe so, and I don't believe we've contacted the Canadian government. Okay. So what happens next? You mentioned the 72 hours before you can speak to your brother. Wh where do you go from here? Uh, well, we take each day as it comes. Uh, once Paul has, uh, once we've, when it, we know what Paul's condition is tomorrow, and that he can start to get legal representation in, uh, in Moscow, we should have a better sense of uh, an information flow both through the U.S. government and through his legal counsel about uh, what his needs are uh, and how best we can help with those.